good. He made so many of those, five in all in the first quarter, and now is 6-3 for the game. Washington would end with 26 points to lead the way for the Hornets, but it wasn't enough to cool off the Knicks. R.J. Barrett for his 6-3. Knicks with it, Rose, swings it, Bullock, funnels, Barrett, right corner three, knocks it down. Barrett with six threes in the game, and the Knicks lead by 10. Knicks end up winning Henry 109-97, and Coach Tibbs comes in there, preaches defense, demands it. He and the Knicks held the Hornets to 31 points in the second half. Wow. I mean, that just goes to show you, Jason, that, yes, defense is still being preached and defense is still being played in today's high-octane up-and-down NBA. Yeah, we said 31 for the half. Uh, the Kings had a 31-point second quarter. All the other quarters combined, Kings the 43, T-Wolves 39, 30, no one was getting less than 31 for a quarter here in the, this game. All right, let's go next to Brooklyn and the Pelicans about Zion Williamson. Now Ingram across the midcourt line, looks back over his shoulder at Stan Van Gunn. Now starts right, down to 10 to shoot, picked up by Irving. Zion gets it in the high post, driving it right, in the lane, got foul, and laid it in. And Zion will go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. A force of nature is Zion Williamson. Chris Carino there from the Nets radio network. Zion had 33. This game was going right down to the end. Nets without a lot of guys, but they still have Kyrie. Irving, left of the lane, stops, fumbling, gets it back in traffic, puts it in off the window along the baseline. How did he do it? Kyrie Irving finding his way through the crevices inside, gets the bucket to go. A couple of huge buckets down the stretch for Kyrie as the Nets take a five-point lead. You know, Henry, it's going to be interesting. I, I know we all wanted to see the Nets play a bunch 